Welcome to Frisco, Texas, located just north of Dallas. It's quickly becoming one of the larger suburbs in the country. You know, Frisco High was the only high school for 100 years, and then they opened Centennial, and now we are one of 10 high schools. In this fast-growing community, you'll find a fast-rising prospect, Liberty High School slugger Xander Brown. The six foot three, 255 pound junior has been known to put on a show in batting practice and in games for the Red Hawks. In, in batting practice, uh, we are losing lots of baseballs rapidly because of him and his teammates. Um, we have Creek behind left field. Xander's no, long, no longer allowed to hit the ball to left field in practice because we, every time he hits one to left field, we lose it. So he has to hit the ball out to center and right. It's not really so far how, how far the ball goes, but it really is just like the feel of how it feels coming off your bat. It just feels amazing. I've seen him hit some in practice, even when he was young, that were in high school, out of any high school field or any pro field. Because then you've seen the, the glimpse of what the future has to hold, and obviously now you see him, he's hitting home runs almost every week. So, uh, you know, it's there. You know, he has a Miguel Cabrera type swing, and we've always kind of compared him to that. Athleticism runs in Xander's family. His father, Phil, who is an assistant principal at Liberty, was a running back at the University of Texas, where he rushed for over 2,100 yards in his four-year career. That was my life. And the one thing that I try to, you know, I try to do is I want to give them my experience and my knowledge about playing sports if they're interested in playing sports. It's never, oh, you're going to play sports because, you know, that's what we do. Like his older brothers, Xander did get into sports. He focused on baseball when he was a youngster in Sulphur Springs, Texas, and he did play some football like dad after the family moved to Frisco when he was in the fourth grade. But a knee injury as a high school freshman convinced Xander to focus on baseball full time. As he recovered, he committed to improving his agility and athleticism to become a better baseball player, which isn't always easy for a kid with a frame like his. Uh, he hurt his knee, and obviously he came back from that pretty well, and that, took, that was something, that was a huge deal to overcome. And, uh, and, and overcoming that because of all the flexions and things like that you have to do with your legs in order to be a good hitter, fielder, runner, whatever. But he seemed to make the adjustments pretty, pretty quick afterwards. Making adjustments helps in baseball and in life. After being diagnosed with dyslexia and ADHD, Xander had to work a little harder to succeed in the classroom. But with the help of his parents and teachers, he's become an honor roll student. The good thing about Xander is he's probably better in the classroom than he is in baseball. And watching him in the hallways and watching him grow from his freshman year to now, um, you know, the grades that he makes, you know, all A's and B's. Um, you know, sometimes kids who are really talented don't put that work ethic into the classroom because they know they're going to get to where they want to go because they can swing it or they can throw it or they can run fast or they can tackle or something. Um, and he's really done a good job. Always going to push, you know, academics um, because I think education is the key for anyone regardless of what you want to do with your life. Well, growing up, I had to go to a class every single day uh, to learn to read better because I couldn't really like read or was, words would get jumbled up and mixed up in numbers and stuff. But um, with my dad helping me and some of my teachers, I've grown past it and uh, I'm overcame it. I can read pretty well now. I'm reading on my level and so that's good. While Xander is always working hard toward his dreams here in Frisco, Texas, he also wants to give back to his community in Sulphur Springs, Texas and he's using baseball to help do that. Xander's power is going to be put to good use in an event called the Power Showcase. It's held in December, and prospects like him raise money for charities by getting donations based on their performances. Xander's charity is Bright Star Baseball, which is in his previous home of Sulphur Springs, and he's helping them build a baseball field for children with special needs. Well, I had a friend who helps out with the little field and stuff. And he was telling me about how their games and stuff would get rained out and they only got to play like three or four of their games that they had scheduled. And so he came to me with the idea about that and with the Power Showcase I needed to get involved with the charity and I hopped right on because I wanted to give back to the community where I'm from. Just because like that's where I fell in love with the game of baseball. It's just, um, and all my friends and all my family still live back there. It's just, I would love to live there when I get older as well too. To have the thrill of playing a game, a game that you love, regardless of your ability, is always fun. I mean, that's always a memory that you, you'll have with you, regardless of where you go and what you do. And to be able to provide that for someone else, to kind of provide the dream for someone else, I think that's what we should all strive to do you know, in our lives, and that, that's something that we can do for the kids in Sulphur Springs. That's something that I think is very honorable and, you know, noteworthy. A big hitter with a big heart. There's no telling how bright the future may be for Xander Brown. In Frisco, Texas, I'm Joe McCann.